Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm excited to journey with you as we learn how to take your health back. Well, a lot of us love to cook, right? So the trend is, what do we cook and how do we cook? So what I want you to know is that what we cook in is just as important as what we cook and what we eat. So today we have Gail Yogi with us, and she will share with us her journey to better health. Her advice to all is, change your cookware, change your life. So welcome, Gail Yogi. Thank you. I am so excited to be here, Wendy. I know. Great. I wanted you to come on for so long because I love your story. I love your energy. I love your heart. Uh, what you do for the people of Hawaii, in particular, your community in Hilo, and um, your relentless desire to make a difference in, in everyone's lives. So, Gail. Please share with us a little bit about your family and how you became so excited about health and wellness. Well, it all began with my mother. She actually uh, had gone to a baby shower, a.k.a. a, a food demo and uh, came home changed. Always been about health, always been about wellness. And she says, Gail, you need to change your cookware and you go do that. So I said, okay, mom. And that's how we began. And it did change my life. Uh, everything about the food was delicious. And the thing that was even more so, it, it ended up changing my entire family's life. Uh, coming to at a place where my husband was sick at that time and needed to have better food and uh, more nutrition in his diet. So it came at a really good place. And then, of course, um, my children just got very, very excited and joined me in our journey to health. Yes. Wow. You know, I, um, well, we're going to get into that, I know, but you really opened my eyes as well, because for the last 18 years, I've been promoting eating health, uh, healthy and taking your health into your own hands. And so that's why it was, it's important to know that. But the other component, uh, and that's why I wanted you to be on the show is so that you could explain to others what you cook in is so, so important. So I know you believe strongly in promoting farm to table, just like me. I mean, my farm is on my balcony. I cut my food and I bring it to my body every day. So how do you incorporate that into your business mission and lifestyle? Well, all we can, uh, all we can do is live it. We were just talking about that. And um, as we become a testimony in ourselves of taking our health back, uh, you find that you can very easily have people trust you because it's really built on a trust factor. Right. As you live it, as you eat well, as you um, share it and have a testimony about how well you are, <laughs> it's easy for others to gravitate to that and want to change their own lifestyle. Uh, definitely, um, I can always just say, thank you, mom, <laughs> because she lived it. And that's why it became easy for me to follow. And then now that I'm living it, it's becoming easier for my family to follow. And you don't know just how many people that you will impact because of you changing. You right. change two people a day, right? Four people right. a day, just uh, living the lifestyle. So yeah, and that's so important. And you know, like um, whatever we do, it's um, even as far as recommending a good restaurant or a good movie. If you speak on it passionately, people are, are really not caring about the movie, but they're caring about what it made you feel, and they want to feel what you felt. And so, same thing with food. So, if you are passionate about something and put your heart into it. People go on that. They want to buy what you have in your heart and your and they trust the trust that they have in you and your decisions. So it's so critical in what you're doing. And even like you're saying, your mom, she pretty much cooked healthy. And then she learned a better way to present it and to cook it. She said, you got to come and learn and understand this is not just what we cook and eat, but how we do it. So how, how do you promote healthy cooking at your home? Well, um, actually, I, I, this is kind of funny. <laughs> I started with my neighbors. <laughs> Honestly, I wanted everybody to have what I had. I was never a cook. I was the queen of burn. 
and um, <laughs> my uh, husband would take uh, take over in the kitchen. So I never really had a desire to cook. But when we started to have health related problems, I wanted to take it back. And then me being introduced into Salad Master, it just made it easy for me to prep my meals. And even if I burned it, it tasted good. So that is really the truth of my story. And wow. I started with my neighbors and um, they invited their sister and the sister invited the, their sister and that invited another sister and they invited the co-worker. And it just went, it just went crazy. And because I wasn't a cook, uh, the place I was employed at, which is a grocery store, uh, everybody's like, wow, she used to be the queen of sushi. And now all she does is want to cook. I, I dreamt about what I'm going to create tomorrow. I mean, I really did. I, it just became so exciting for me to have ideas of how I can make this so simple that others can do this too. Because you can't make this difficult. You can't have the very lengthy recipe. You got to make it simple so that they can duplicate it very easily. Right. They can get the um, ingredients readily. They can prep it. It doesn't take more than whatever, 10, 15 minutes sometimes, you know, but make it simple and quick and delicious and yes. eye appealing because we all eat with our eyes. That's right. right. It's got to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's the, the neat part about everything here is, you, your mom introduced you. She said, hey, come look at what we're doing, our concept of cooking. And then you ex got excited about it. Then you shared it. And you know the, the great thing? It, I know that it became part of your life. It's part of your business. And so that's the neat thing. It, it became that. But we do it to help others. But in theory, we ourselves are being benefited so much i mean look at you girl i mean like we're we're in our 60s you know and we <laughs> look like one hot mama over there right <laughs> it's because you were diligent enough to understand the power of what you eat you are what you eat and so you took it a step further it's your business and now you do what you do and you do it because you love it and you're getting paid for it i'm like hallelujah right and Amen. Hallelujah, and, amen. Also, and you're also offering the same opportunity to others. Right. Like, and they too can have it. It's not only your secret and you're going to keep it botched up and, <laughs> you know, you're not going to share it, but you share it through cooking, the passion of cooking and how it can get better than just going to the store, picking it up, cutting it, frying it, burning it, and then eating it. Right. <laughs> or ordering sushi. <laughs> so are there, are there any outreach programs that you support? Yes, actually, uh, pre-COVID, we were real active. Mm -hmm. uh, we did um, cooking coach for the Blue Zones. Uh, wow. We also are very proud sponsors of the American Diabetes Association. Yay. Yeah, we try to, uh, you know, try to get our recipes to be high fiber, you know, lowering um, the numbers and just really kind of incorporating vegetables into everything that they eat and that they would love it. Uh, mm -hmm. So high fiber meals, low calorie, low sugar or no sugar. And then of course, good oils. Um, right. So everything, uh, everything we do is really geared to help them to be better health and live better and feel better. We're also uh, proud sponsors of the um, let's see, did I say American Cancer Society? But no, also, American diabetes. yeah, and then also with Dr. Neil Bernard for Food for Life. So there's just so many, so many avenues that we've incorporated in, into Simply for Health. It's, it's not just, uh, it's not just us, it's really just reaching out to the community and being a help. So because if you share with like I said, two people, they're going to share with two people and it's going to manifest and really change the entire community because it's going to be at the buzz of the day, right? right? I feel better. I lost 40 pounds or 20 pounds. My levels, you know, my numbers are down uh, in, in my diabetes and I feel great. And so we're hearing that all the time uh, wow. from feedback from our customers. We just don't sell a product. We make sure they're maximizing it and getting the best benefits mm -hmm. through nutrition. Well, retention. you're actually selling a lifestyle, 
Amen. Okay. So a lifestyle that they should have known about me, you know, your mama was right. She probably told you eat your fruits and vegetables. We said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But go to the burger shop. It's just quicker. It's more fulfilling. It's cheaper. So, you know, they watch too much TV and they were influenced. Mm -hmm. So our job is not an easy job because we're needing to re-educate and re make them more aware of what is better for them than just what is what they want. Because yeah. what we want all the time is not what is best for us, yeah. right? And so, you know, when you're doing your shows and, you know, your, your presentations, do people, um, what are their responses, their reactions? Are they like, wow, this one is really good. I didn't think healthy food could taste so good. Do you hear that? <laughs> yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wow, no yeah. water. Wow, yeah. no oil. Wow. Yeah, wait. No and, and no beef. You know, for me, it's no beef. And they go like, oh, honey, you know, we just go eat Auntie Wendy's house. And when we fall, we'll stop at the you know, fast food on the way home. But you know, when the guy and the guys come and they come and they look at the food and they're like, wow, it's pretty because it's yeah. orange, it's red. You know, it's not cooked to death and it's delicious, you yeah. know. And so as long as you put your heart into it, what they're eating and experiencing is purely your heart, Gail. You know? And yes. so that's, that's why you can change so many people's lives. And, you know, we all, all of us here in Hawaii just need to say, let's give it a try. It couldn't be that bad. And they'd be very surprised, right? I have this one story, young man, and I was doing a dinner. I had a lot of veggies that incorporated in it. It did have chicken. And he, <laughs> I heard him turn to his wife. He goes, I'm going to still be hungry and we're going to have to go McDonald's after this. Yeah, exactly. But after the meal, he felt piha. He's like, <laughs> I was satisfied. Yes. And I said, do you know why? When you get maximum nutrition, that's mm -hmm. what happens. You start to eat less, you start to feel better, and you are satisfied. Yeah. So pretty cool. It, it makes a drastic dish difference. I mean, even as far as not just intake, but even output is just a, a better experience. Um, we don't have to take anything to help it come out because it's so high in fiber and it's prepared the right way and without all the chemicals that botches up our system. So Continue doing what you're doing, girl. We got a big job and I know we're making differences because people are telling us and that's all we need to hear is that people want a change in their life and we're there to hold their hands and help them through their journey of taking their health back. It's very critical. Very critical. Mm -hmm. very critical. So I know that you do a lot of things, events and things, but what kind of volunteer work do you do? Um, actually, I have done PTA meetings. <laughs> I mean, I, that sounds funny, but my heart is a children and parents and uh, children are pretty apt to try new things. Parents kind of go, hmm. And then they watch their church, their children. For instance, I made this apple beet and carrot salad fresh and they're watching their kids like eat it up. And it's like, hmm, maybe there's something about that. And so now their parents are getting excited because the children are eating better. So that's one of the things that I like to do is uh, any kind of children's event. And another thing that I was doing, we haven't done lately, but I hope to get back into this as everything subsides was the bread basket, because there is a, a nice fresh vegetable and fruit truck now that travels with them. And at one point they had me doing meals out of whatever they sold on the side. So I could encourage them to eat more fresh. And, uh, and you know, when they picked up their dry staple, but come on out and let's go check out the veggies and the fruit outside. And let me show you how I can prepare this simple that you can do this at home. So that was another fun thing that we did. Wow. And, you know, I did um, have the opportunity to um, come to a presentation or a show. And uh, you, the bottom line is you made it look fun. You know, you made it look fun. You made it look easy. And it not only looked fun and looked easy, it actually was fun. It was easy. And so, you know, with the right tools, like anything in life, even towards your health journey, with the right tools, all things are possible, you know, and we just have to know that. And so what you're offering is, giving them these valuable tools to create their new lifestyle or continue their great lifestyle. So as I said, you're doing a good job and lots more, lots more to come, especially in these times when we're having such um, um, issues, health issues on the outside. 
All I can tell us is that we just need to steward our bodies better and take our lives into our own hands and be more sustainable um, within the homes. And that's exactly what you're trying to create. Am I correct? I am. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I know you are. <laughs> Home so, cook meals. <laughs> and always. And actually, you know what? It's much cheaper. Yes. Cheaper and better because you control what you put in and what you don't put in. And so this is so valuable. But people, I know that they say we don't have time, but um, mm -hmm. they have to really rethink that, that, that statement. I don't have time. You don't have time for health or life. What, what is it? Right. So right. we have to educate them and make that part fun. And so that's what I uh, segue into is that you are making it fun and simple, simpler. Mm -hmm. So eating well and staying physically active is important for a healthy lifestyle. So how do you promote this? OK, so in our uh, dealership here, we actually have a physical fitness trainer. He also does um, physical therapy and uh he has helped quite a bit of my customers or clients or now family. <laughs> uh, I call them family um, to continue on their path. And what was nice is how we partnered up because he needed help for his clients to stay on the path of a lifestyle, not a diet. And I needed help to help my clients get stronger physically by exercising, even if it was resistance training. Uh, so we partnered together. I would say I met him six years in about five years. We've been together here at um, Simply for Health. So it's been a wonderful journey. Wow, that's a fabulous partnership, right? Nutritional. Yes. I mean, and basically you're offering them a family, you know, mm -hmm. a lifestyle of a healthy family that, um, I, I always say like lock arms or hold hands with them because a lot of people say, well, first of all, where do I start? Right. And then, oh, nobody's going to watch me so I can cheat. Of course you can cheat, but you're going to cheat yourself. But when, what you're creating is you're creating that ohana that holds each other accountable. Yeah. And that's the key right there is that you're creating a, a ohana and with accountability. That's so key. So that's why your customers or all the people that do come into your doors will be um, on their way to taking their health back because you're going to not allow anything else. I know that, Gail. <laughs> and <laughs> so what type of nutrition classes? Uh, I know you have physical and you have cooking. So what type of nutritional classes or individuals do you partner with? Okay, so we actually also partner with uh, someone named Valerie. Kihano, and she is um, a, does thermography and cellular nutrition out in Waimea. And the whole point was to help them to get back into more nutritious foods. And so we also had a very, very lovely woman visit us from Phoenix that taught us how to do fermenting. So that's what we do <laughs> is we'll have education classes with our, um, with our trainer, with our physician, and then also and do a, my daughter now has learned to do a wonderful ferment class and then just basic food prep. So now those that are wow. exercising and taking care of their bodies, uh, how can we make it more simple for them to food prep their foods? So they're not feeling like, oh my God, I'm hungry. I'm going to stop and buy something, but right. uh, help them to have everything ready uh, to have their meals so that they're packed with nutrition benefit. Wow. So, you know, I understand the value of uh, fermenting. Um, can you just explain a little bit about fermentation and fermented foods that, and why is it so important for our bodies? Well, definitely your gut is the key <laughs> to everything. And I learned this from a young, uh, well, a man, <laughs> he was doing a 21 day cleanse and it was to help the body to alkaline. And it was all based on getting the gut in order. And by that 21 day, you are not craving for any sugar or any kind of junk food because now you have good bacteria. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people think you have to kill everything off. No, no. you have to have a balance. In your body right. is so very important. And the one thing that we took charge of is at that time, my daughter was pregnant and she was having some problems with high blood sugar. So she did a, a, a study on a beet kvass and it was something that she made 
that only took nine days to ferment on the on the counter. And what it was is was this wonderful little tonic that you just took a shot every day. Who would know that it was just that simple to cut up mm-hmm. beets and to prepare it right and to ferment it? And now it becomes a tonic every single day. So it just enabled us to help people realize that food is our medicine. And ferments is very important in the process of getting your body aligned. Right. Definitely. And it's also the greatest source of probiotics for our bodies. It is. And prebiotics. And pre, right. Oh, pre and pro. <laughs> right. And so that's why it's so important. I mean, like every culture has a form of pre or pro- probiotics. You know, I mean, like the kimchi, right? That's a fermented. Yes. And yes. so people who love kimchi, hello, you're already eating healthy. Just eat yeah. more of it, right? It's all good. But then not again, told. Can, not, not told, <laughs> yeah. um, sukimono, right? Yeah. Um, sauerkraut, all of these yes. things are just naturally um, made to help clean and take care of our gut. But people don't think of it that way. I mean, um, before when I did eat hot dogs, I would lace it up with choke <laughs> sauerkrauts. Oh, that's okay. funny. No, I just loaded up with, because I love sauerkraut. The hot dog in the bun was just to coat it. So now yeah. I don't eat hot dogs, but I still love sauerkraut. It was a sauerkraut that I loved. Amen. Right? So I believe those are. <laughs> that was really important. I'm, I believe for me too, I had a love for a lot of crustaceous vegetables. Mm-hmm. And um, there was a time when my thyroid was just slightly off. And mm-hmm. I thought, well, all that stuff is supposed to be super good for you. But no there's always a balance. So now for me, if I want to have cabbage, I didn't realize that cabbage took three months to ferment. (laughs) I didn't realize that because it's full of hydrochloric acid and needed to get out. So now I don't have a problem anymore. So is knowing not only what foods, but knowing how to ferment them properly and knowing what's, you know, you need to know, you need to be in touch with your body. So always be in touch with your body, know what's, uh, have a, you know, have a blood test, mm-hmm. know if your D's are off, your adrenals are off, or, you know, just knowing that and you can fix all those things with food. It's just amazing. That's right. what I learned. <laughs> right. I'm still on the journey of learning. I don't know it all, <laughs> baby, but I'm right. We're all learning. We're a work yeah. in progress, but you know, um, I'm got to mention to the audience. I mean, Hey guys, go see Dr. Gail, learn about <laughs> what she does how she does it and get a good food sampling and get a lifestyle change and all this great advice. And I tell you, you know, as long as we've been doing this, Gail, a lot of people will say to me, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. So, you know, that's why we, we have to talk more, you know, you have to talk more. I have you on this show so you can reach more people so they can hear the simplicity of eating and being healthy. It doesn't take a rocket scientist and you did all the research. So they just have to talk story with you, open your door and walk in. And I'm sure you're not going to hold any information back if they have a question. And I know you that if you didn't have the answer, you would research it and you'd find the I'm answer. I sure will. <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> that's, that's the challenge of what we do and who we are is that we want to have the answers and the right answers to excite everyone to take their health back. So part of getting our health back is to inspire, right? And to do all we can to share all the talents and their talents. Do you feature any of the, any guests, um, speakers or guest chefs um, at your? Definitely. Um, We have some amazing people and uh, I have a, a chef, Tony. He used to work at a restaurant, but for me, his testimony was powerful. At one time he had invested, but he cooked the same. He didn't change too much. (laughs) And then he went and had to have a blood test and he got diabetes. And he had this wonderful testimony uh, uh, that he did a cooking class um, via live Facebook uh, here in our office. And he told how he had to change immediately. He Mm -hmm. did not want any of his limbs cut off. He just, it just was a reality to him. And within two weeks of changing the food and how it was prepared, he lost weight. His numbers went down. Mm -hmm. He was feeling good. And it was, I I mean, I have to dig up that one, but it was such a powerful testimony. And so I think people that 
have taken this to the next level and are, are inspired to teach others and then also to share their own testimonies of their successes with their health and wellness. Yeah. Excellent. I mean, I love hearing those stories. Um, I hang out at Down to Earth here in Honolulu and um, a lot of people are regulars, but then when I see a new face come in and they go straight to where all the pills are and stuff. And so I just go, I say, hey, you're new here. Um, why, what brought you in? <laughs> you know, me, Sonia Ele, right? So they said, oh, I uh, went doctor and I get high blood pressure now. So I got I to gotta change. So they're looking for answers. You know, they just got diagnosed and they want to know what can I do now? Mm -hmm. So again, Gail, that's, then I feel like, oh my gosh, I failed because I didn't talk to this guy. I don't even know who he is, but had I talked to him before, you know, maybe we could have helped him. But then again, he wasn't in the right uh, space Eddie. in his yeah. mind. So now yeah. that he got diagnosed, he's pushed into the corner. And so now he has to learn what can I do more to get better. So then again, not too late, but that's when we can receive them where they are and help them along their way. So um, is there a favorite recipe that you'd like to share with others? <laughs> well, I have a unique one. <laughs> okay. And I, it's kind of like my signature whenever I do a demonstration. That kind of blows people's mind. But I do, uh, I do a vegetable cake. Oh. And I don't use any oil. And I don't oh. use any liquid. And I go straight to the source of the vegetables. And usually my favorite vegetables are carrots and beet purple cabbage, a little bit of zucchini. If I don't got that, I put a little bit of pumpkin in there. And that is able to create enough oils of its own and liquid to bake that cake. Depending wow. if you're vegan or vegetarian, I'll add eggs or I'll add chia seeds for the omega. Wow. So, um, it's well, you didn't make that for me. I've been doing <laughs> dragon fruit <laughs> upside down chocolate cake <laughs> wow. and, that looks uh, fabulous. get your fix but it's a healthy fix <laughs> wow. so yes. you know i know we're running low on time but i want to i need to ask you what do you hope to achieve in your business as well as your family well i hope that i can really make a difference continue to make a difference in my community um we are pretty much in Hilo and a little bit in Waimea and Honoka and just starting to branch out to uh, Kona side. And I just want a, a larger sphere of influence to have a, people know that we're here. We're here to help them not only change their cook, but cookware, but to change their lifestyle and uh, to have it affect, uh, like for me, I feel like I'll leave a legacy long legacy i'm and watching you are my, you my are children, you my are. grandchildren and now even great grandchildren hallelujah <laughs> that's what this is all about well there's Gail. my little child right there <laughs> hey beautiful so yes. well we have to leave it now um we run out of time but you've been watching taking your health back on think tech hawaii mahalo to gail yogi from hilo for sharing your journey to health Thank you for talking story with us and for sharing so many ways that we can all take our health back. I'm so grateful to you, Gail. And mahalo to all of our viewers for watching. I'm Wendy Lowe. We'll be back in two weeks with another edition of Taking Your Health Back. Aloha for now. Aloha.